It's Michael We Talking Media giving you a little bit of We Talk Economics this evening. Before I hit the fight up with Alex Perea, it'll probably start around 11, 12 o'clock. So you got some time, people out there, for in the fight game. Okay? And that's when he will fight. The pre the other fights will be the undercards. Now let's get into the basics of what's happening in America today. I read a headline that was a little bit scary. Starter homes are worth one million in two hundred thirty seven US cities. You heard that right. Two hundred thirty seven cities in America have starter homes of one million dollars. And I'm seeing a lot of YouTube channels talk about the crashes coming, etc. It could be, but I want to get into what I've been trying to tell y'all. And, and you're like, everybody's money hungry and greedy. No, the dollar is losing value. and You're going to do need to do more to survive. The dollar is losing value, as is, as is in every dollar across every, every single country. Because we're the number one currency, by the way. Okay? It's gonna, if, if, listen... If we fall, let me say this. If we fall, chances are everybody falls. There's no safe haven. Okay? It's not easy to work through a falling dollar, but we're seeing the pain of it due to the government's increased spend across all nations. And it all comes down to a lot no it can't all come down to so first off there's a lot of things that play into this and for that we would go to we talk anonymous when we start with the channel we get a thousand here we'll, we'll get that channel going with economic stuff uh still storylines but a little bit more of the technical news that'll help you that'll help us try to make through the through with these treacherous waters because it's a tough time out there okay now, reading through this, 84 seats for the typical starter home was valued at $1 million between 2019 and 2024. So, in that time period, there's only 84, 84 cities that had the million-dollar price tag. Starter homes values increased 54%. Woo! Lord have mercy. Huh? Contributing to the delay of first home purchases for many young Americans. Changes on the horizon for prospective first-time home buyers. There's an increasing number of homes on the market giving buyers more time to weigh their options. All right. The share of inventory of smaller and more affordable homes has grown, which helps hold down the median price even as per square foot prices grow further. Okay. The typical starter home is worth 196 k Okay, that was way back. The real estate company called this price comfortable, affordable for a median income household. All right, that was way back when. A move from California to Texas could save millions of dollars. Many Americans are opting in. Let's look at first the cities where it's hurting the most from a cost perspective. But this article is kind of leading me into what I would tell anybody that feels like the prices are so high or too high. It, it hurts, but I have to say it, and I'll explain it. Let's just run through a couple of seeds and we'll talk through it. Um, 237 cities, and here's some of those, okay? California has 117 of them. New York, 31. New Jersey, 21, hometown, okay? Florida, 11. Mass, 11. And then we get Washington, Texas, Hawaii, Connecticut, and Colorado. Very interesting. If you notice, there's not many other cities with multiple numbers of homes that are worth a million dollars as a starter home. Is California that good to you that you think you need to move out there to have a good life? As a guy that has lived several places, I will tell you that, yes, there are certain places the sun definitely makes a lot of sense. Best place I've ever lived. I'm not going to say where I'm at. You already know where I'm at. I was trying to hide it because I don't want y'all coming down no more. But <laughs> I'm in Florida. And for me, it's it's ultimately feels like a vacation every day. I look outside and I can't believe it. All right. And I thank all the people that gave me the opportunity to come down there. I really do. Actually, I do love them. I'll say that. 
Okay. But this is this is the big thing about this cost. When we start, you know, new new spreads, guys. Okay. And 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 new spreads even faster with social media. So everything that you think you have time to get into. If you're in a big city, you don't you have much less time because you have much more competition. They're much more alert and they're aware of the situation. They're hunting. OK, um, a place like um, California, which I've been to, is very nice. It's mountainous. It has it has a lot of great things. Do I think it's better than Florida? Not a million dollars. Start a home better than Florida. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Is it a good place to visit? Yeah, but is it all that? No. No. Okay. Now I'll jump to Florida. Florida has some million dollar areas, you know, million dollar start home areas, probably mostly in South Florida. Okay. Is it worth it in South Florida? Really think to yourself, we're going to break it down. What do you really do in South Florida, right? Isn't it more vacation-y? Isn't it more like a hotel and you eat out at a couple of restaurants here and there, maybe one of the fun activities? And then after that, you're mostly working, right? So technically, you would think of Florida and California is really, they're nice to go look at and watch, but most of us are working most of the time. So get your allegiances straight. Your wants versus your needs. In my opinion, we have to go, especially if you're young, to your needs. I would probably go back to some of my old stomping grounds in the Midwest if I was very young. I wouldn't think about moving to any of the places in the top 10. Any. They wouldn't be on my mind at all. Now, what may have you in these areas? What does a million dollar starter home mean? What does that mean? Put that in dollar perspective. Here goes the We Talk Anonymous as we continue to walk through, okay? And the Golden State prices are $400,000. And so I got about 64% of counties in that Golden State have median home values above $389,800. Now, because that's the new starter, okay? Remember, wages have increased. Woo, look at those numbers. Look at them. Nantucket, Massachusetts. Lord have mercy. Look at it. Mm, mm, mm. Can you imagine your three bedroom two or your four bedroom three is worth that much that you're in right now? Shoo. Crazy times, right? But what's that payment, right? Let's just go ahead. Everybody knows this side, right? So I'm going to what everybody knows. All right. And what's happening at current state as we walk through some of the crash talk uh, that I'm hearing on a lot of channels and that that very well very may well may be, but let's first get into what the payment would be. Let's go. They said Santa Clara, right? I don't know Santa Clara. Okay, okay. Santa Clara, California. We're gonna do La, La, Laguna. Let's go homes there. All right. It's probably gonna prove the article wrong. Okay. Let's go in here. And I'm just going to type in Santa Clara. And we're looking for, I'm just going to go, wow, yeah, that's bad. That's bad, guys. I mean, this is horrible. Look at this. That's a, that's 120000 somewhere. Lord, have mercy. I guess we started in the wrong spot because I'm already angry at these guys. Eight hundred ten thousand for a two bedroom, three bedroom, three hundred square feet. With, uh, I guys, my advice to you guys, unless you have a lot of money, never buy a condo in an area that's hot. Okay, meaning it's it's busy, never wants to go there. Look at that fee. Okay, it's not actually not bad for for floor, but I've seen fees in the two thousand a month range. Just a heads up. All right. Does it include taxes and all that? That's what you have to figure out, okay? Because sometimes that's separate from this, okay? Now, let's walk through this real quick, all right? It looks like it may be included because there's no tax history here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, property taxes, 9448 and increasing. You can see the value and the assessment. Let's take it all the way back. Was this place ever cheap? Well... <laughs> 
even back in 2019, all things considering, went from 438000 jumped up to $765,000 for this place. And it kept going up from there. Obviously, there's a point where it's going to have to say bye-bye. If, if you were in it in 2013, Lord have mercy. 288,000, all right, 246 and 12, 11, 10. Those crashes are very important, ones to look at. You have to jump in and get in where you fit in when those opportunities come, all right? Well, where's the payment calculator, right? So this is this is this assessment of, of this house. Where's the calculator? Does you have it on here? Let's find it. We're going to find it somewhere, somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. Okay. So, the rent estimate is only 3892 okay? And it was down there, all right? So, you could only rent it out for 3800 all right? But yet, your monthly payment on this thing is $5,541, all right? That's your monthly payment on this house. There's, they're assuming some things here. I bet they're assuming 20% down, all right? And that's normal. Let's let's do a first-time home buy and make it nasty. You want to make it nasty, which is not, not too bad, right? Let's, let's make it nasty and go 3%. Can we get there? All right, 3%. They're saying the rate now is that, all right? All right, let's get out of it. Let's see what it says. Does it change? $6,717 for a home that is $810,000 with the uh with the uh, uh HOA fee. So your mortgage insurance is estimated to be 340, property tax which is a killer that high 817, home insurance 284 and then the HOA fees are 505. That's $6,717. Now, let's hit this, okay? Let's get busy with it. What is the monthly salary of a person that makes a uh, monthly net salary of somebody that makes 150k, 50k a year? All right? Let's do that. Monthly take home 150,000, all right? Let's just do that. All right? If you make if you make one hundred and fifty thousand, you bring home one hundred and eleven thousand dollars, allegedly, or nine thousand three hundred and thirty-two dollars per month. Okay, that's your take home. Where you want your your house to be. Is what? Would you be comfortable paying that on a house? Now, this is this is where this couples thing is coming to play. You know, the couples, the relationships, the, the way it used to be. It's not even a million dollar house yet, guys. This is just this 810000 But it plays like a million because of the HOA fee, which kills you. Okay? Uh, that's why I don't like condos. Um, so 9332 You're spending almost 6700 minus your electricity and all that stuff. Remember that? Just on the mortgage. Then you add on your electricity and all that, and then you add, and then you maybe add on a car payment, and then you add on your food, and you probably break it even. You just squeeze and buy on this house. You know what I mean? You just squeeze and buy on this house. Okay? All right? $9,332 per month. Okay? Let's step back now. All right? Let's step back. Let's step back. So you saw that house. And you said, wow. What's happening currently? What is the average salary in Santa Clara? What's the average salary? Now, Santa Clara is different. It's very mixed Asian and Persian. They got big money there. Uh, salary in Santa Clara, Santa Clara, California. They got a lot of mixes, okay? A lot of mixes over there. Santa Clara. And 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 I'm gonna go to you while I'm, there's a guy named John. So it looks like Santa. Let's just use this, right? One twenty to two ten is about right. That's probably about right, right to survive. So you do make that much a year, okay? And and the salaries are kind of there to support you buying that eight hundred and ten k condo, okay? 
All right, so there's a lot of different ranges there, right? So let's go, let's go. Probably this is probably the realest range, 88 to 160. Um, teachers, you know, I would say that gives you the best mix. 88 to 160 is the best mix of salad. So your top end guy can barely squeeze in and be month to month, maybe hand to mouth. Making a pay. By the way, the average car payment is seven hundred something dollars. Well, we, let's get to the point here, okay? What is happening to U.S. wages right now in America? U.S. wages by year. All right, that's what we want. To, census data, all that. That's what you want to look at. This, this is the real deal. St. Louis Fed is telling us just by glancing over here that the median hourly salary. Across the U.S., and let's just do U.S. wages or California wages by year, okay? I, I, let's just do this. Let's keep that U.S. Because I want to show you something where we're seeing the problem is also here. See? Let's go max, okay? The wages are also flying high along with um, the uh, uh, housing prices. The new, see, back in the day in 2010 and all that, you know, 16, 17 dollars an hour, 18 dollars an hour, time continues to move on. But this is the perfect chart to show you what happens in life, even though there's blips of where it turns down. Right? We're 2010. That's probably in a housing crisis. There's blips where it turns down. Look at this. To average 21, 23. You were happy then, right? You made 70,000 back in 13. You're like, oh, I'm all right. I'm good. In 2013, you make 70000 You're like, oh, I'm good. I'm 67000 70000 I'm the man. Your boss thinks he's doing you a favor. And if you stayed in that place, what happened to you? Lord have mercy on me. Do you see how it went up? $30 per hour. Now, now the average Joe makes 30 The average Joe is making 60 some thousand a year. They see that. So that's almost double the salary. Okay. What do you think happened to the housing prices? See? See how the game worked? See how the game worked? You don't think they saw this key? Because your goal is I'm gonna live better. I wanna do better. I wanna make more money. You keep pushing the pressure. Inflation continues to pressure you to get more money. You make thirty dollars an hour, but yet, yeah, hold on. You don't think the guys that are building the houses, that are selling the goods and all that, are not looking at the salary increases that they have to bring on the table and not feeding it back through into their product? You don't think the guy that you're asking for a raise to get you to that $30 an hour is not saying, well, shit, I got to raise the price on my uh, peanut butter that you're making for me. The builder. Oh, shit, I got to raise the rates on the housing uh, that I'm building because my guys no longer want... Uh, 21 bucks an hour, like 2016, they now want in excess of $30 an hour. Okay. Well, now the build is almost two and a half times more. And in these, some cases, four times more, 288,000 went it, it, it more than doubled in that, in that uh, little shack condo that we just saw. Huh? And people are trying to figure out what's happening. Well, now. Because it went so high, instead of the two times, it went three to four times higher. We now have an issue where Sodom and Gomorrah, as I call it, wrong term, but I like to switch things around, has come to roost. Foreclosure rates. Now, remember, this is a slow-moving ship. When somebody says there's a crash, it's not like it's Speedy Gonzalez for these crashes. Even 2009, 2010 took a couple of years to really really take it obviously there was quick layoffs on wall street and all that but it took years to really find itself companies are slow to move okay companies are slow to move all right now you're like which state has the highest foreclosure rate i'm getting scared buyers sellers sexy sellers are now, because sellers are always late to the game. They don't watch YouTube like us. Everyone's they're really late to the game when you talk about economics. They're having fun. They're going golf. Whatever they're doing, right? Uh, what is it? What is the what's the deal? Racquetball, pick it, pick it ball, the new deal, pick it ball. You know this. You know everybody's moving away. Everyone's you know they're they're slow to react and slow to see these issues, and they always come late to the party. Who has the advantage? No offense, people like you watching YouTube tonight, watching financial channels, watching these, you are ahead. 
that's what gives you the advantage. When you saw these salaries rising and the house price went up three and a half times per cent, you would say, mm, I should be looking at selling or making a move now so I have some cash for protection. See? That's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to use that to your advantage because you're early to the game. Let's go ahead and look at foreclosures right now as it just begins to start its impasse, its increase. Now, if you read the article, you'll say, uh-oh, it's starting to rise. Florida's always in there, all right? States have the greatest numbers, REOs, real estate-owned uh, properties, California, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Texas. A lot of those are states that don't have jobs for the some of the lower ones, right? Uh, number of foreclosures, New York, Chicago, Houston, Miami, Philadelphia. Okay, Florida had a lot, but look at, look at Miami. I, 750 of Florida's is in Miami. Lord have mercy. The rest is spread out. Remember, Florida's a big state. All right, 2,750 starts for foreclosures, okay? Developers thinking that everyone makes the $30. Not everyone got that increase in salary. Not everyone was making $30 an hour. So now they're going, well, we read the articles and they said everyone was moving to Florida, but they didn't do the demographic of who was moving down or who could afford it and who was already here. So they raised the price so high and now you got this slight increase of floor closure let's go to the foreclosure rate i think i saw st louis fed always go to them for the most accurate data all right all right foreclosure rate all right and what i'm looking for is a chart here we go You can see here that this storm may have just gotten started. Remember, it's a Titanic. Not everything moves at the same time. All right. We should be going to St. Louis Fed, but I'm trusting these boys here at Statista because they should, they should be pulling it from that same place. All right. You can see what happened in 08. All right. We're just starting to go the other way. We had the lowest amount of time and now... Is starting to rise, but look how long it took for the rise. All right, look how long, right? Probably in year two, we're probably in the third inning. If you think about it, right, we're getting close to 05, right? Maybe 04, headed into 06, and we'll see what happens. It may not happen the same way. All right. Inflation has also treaded down lately, right? You can see this here, but it has been the highest time in history. The government has put on the brakes with the interest rate to try to slow down everything out there because everyone is on a loan, folks. And the commercial loan is different from the interest rate that normal folks like us get. Just a heads up. A little bit different. A little bit different rate. All right? But they're still under the same pain if no one's buying buying the treasury auctions for value. That means foreign entities and companies buy the treasury bonds to secure some income. And then, of course, that dictates the right rate, supply and demand. All right. Supply and demand. OK. Um, here we are with high inflation, with wages going higher. And now the foreclosures starting to creep up. What else is starting to creep up? The unemployment rate. Let's check that out. We're getting back to the house. We're going to get there. Hold on. Okay. The unemployment rate, USA. So these guys that are building are foreshadowing, saying, you know, we should see this, right? They don't realize that, you know, the game, the game has kind of changed. Okay. Nasty word to not have a chart on that. Nasty. All right. So here goes the chart of this peaks and valleys. And as you can see, we may be in the third inning. One catalyst can break this thing loose. But you can see it's been an up and down seesaw no matter how you look at it. Up and down, up and down, up and down. This is the one of the lowest points in history. But history also tells us, even though I said it's the third inning, 
that the spike up of unemployment is much faster than the than the rise down or the decline down. It's a much sharper rise. It's quick. It's painful. It's like the last two years. That's why everyone said, do you have some cash on the sidelines? Okay. Let's look at housing prices real quick again, and I'm going to come back to, um, and you'll see the housing prices. Housing price, K. Schiller. Okay. Let's look at this real quick. Okay. Core Logic. National home price over the years. Look at what it's done. Yes, you've had a crash, but everyone's looking for a crash of 50%. 50% of uh, 450, right, of 400, brings you to 200. They think they're going to see 200. I don't think we're going to see that. If anything, if there is a slowdown or a crash or a correction, all right, we may be getting a, between the 250 and 350 range, okay, for most places. All right, there'll be some 200s, right? Something that's messed up that needs work. But that'll be the new range. Before, before, back in the day, I remember when you could buy condos in Miami for $70,000, $60,000. dollars $50,000. $50, that is now changed, okay? Because of how high it is. If they're worth seven hundred, let's say they go down 30 40%, you know, you're looking at four hundred, three seventy five. dollars What am I getting at? Even if there was a correction or even a crash, your salaries with the $30 an hour, let's do the $30 an hour. Let's get back to that. I'm bringing it full circle. $30 an hour. Net. $54,000. Do a divide. Okay. Just do it by weekly. Okay. I don't know what that comes to. And you can write off a lot of taxes on that. Net income. Okay, here we go. Twenty four seventy. Twenty that two thousand four hundred seventy. Two thousand four hundred seventy. All right. So you're bringing home forty eight hundred a month. And you couldn't afford that starter home. You couldn't get in there. So here goes the dilemma for the developers that didn't look at this thoroughly. Because this is all you got to do. Right. These guys are banking that everybody was going to start making 150 and one between 100 and 150 would be the average salary. Now, you can do that, but you're probably going to be working two jobs, judging by these statistics. OK. And that's when we get into the video. I just watched it spur me to talk about this one. Miami is now how everyone's going broke full tour of the collapse because in the hot areas that everybody wants to live in, because everyone's watching YouTube and all that stuff, and you copycats, even though, no offense, sometimes you're watching things that may not be true as the best areas to go or the best, you no know, offense, ladies and all that stuff. Sometimes, sometimes they sway you in the wrong direction, man. The commercials are doing you wrong. That may not even be the best place in Florida if you're looking for some real access for, for some pretty girls. Just a heads up. Be careful what you see on TV. I'm certainly not going to tell you where it's at. <laughs> now, and it's all suggestive in time of year, so that's the other thing. All right? So we talked about what would the plan be, the purpose of the video, young men. All right? Would you be looking at any of those cities to move in or would you come here fort worth fort wayne indiana has been rated one of the most affordable places to live the key thing is having more income in your pocket saved versus more income to spend okay so we're going to do we're going to use the santa clara the most expensive place eight hundred and ten thousand a month uh, uh, for a house with a condo fee, what would we be looking at? If you put down three percent, you know it was at thirty, forty thousand. You know you would be you would be at six thousand seven hundred a month. So you couldn't even afford it. So we have to rent. Looks like the average rents out there is thirty eight hundred or something like that. What we just saw right on Zillow. We can go back there and look. I believe it was thirty eight hundred dollars for rent. Okay, and you're bringing in forty eight hundred, not including car payment or anything else. All right. So California, with your average salary, would be what? Out of the picture. But Fort Wayne, okay, 
Fort Wayne would be in the picture. Why would you say that? Let's check this out. The median home price in the city is $170,000. And the average cost for rent is $1,078. These are both far below the national averages of $362,000 and $2,069. This is the place you would look at. How do I get there? How the hell would I get there? Okay. All right. You're right. How would you get there? You're right about that. Okay. All right. How would you get there? Well, let's step back. What would I do for my job search? Even though the average salary is 30, 30,000, according to the data, Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne jobs, right? Fort Wayne jobs. Indeed. Right. Pump it in, pump, pump, pump it up. All right. There we go. Dental assistant, nineteen to twenty-five dollars an hour. That sounds about right. Service technician, twenty-nine dollars an hour. What you're starting to see is Packer. All right, you, all right, you probably have to move your way up there. Hospice RN. Well, that's bullshit. It's way too low for RN. Right. House cleaner, twenty-two dollars an hour. I'm going to hire. I'm going to hire one, guys. Content creator, hybrid remote. Okay. 150000 max, right, for content creation, which is the new thing now. Again, companies are so late on that. Janitorial worker, they're saying $15 an hour. 15 dollars all right? 50, 24 $30 skilled construction worker. It looks like construction is the key. And you say, dude, come on, man. Come on, man. What are you talking about, man? Look, I'm not making no $15 an hour. Now, let's break this out for you for We Talk Economics. Why wouldn't you take that job that pays you $20 an hour in Fort Wayne? What you talking about, man? All right. What's in Fort Wayne? Let's, let's, let's hit a Fort Wayne area. Let's go Fort Wayne, Matt. First of all, let me tell you the three amenities that make an area okay to live in no matter where it's at. All right. Let's look at Fort Wayne co nearby colleges. All right. That's the first thing you want to check out. What are the colleges nearby to Fort Wayne? All right. That's the first. Uh-oh. Port Purdue University is there. Wesleyan, I don't know some of these guys. Let's say they got some university. Is there any big boy? Indiana Wesleyan is pretty big, I think. I think they're actually pretty big. Okay. Indiana Wesleyan. All right. And you know, students over five, ten thousand. Let's jump further out. What else is there? All right. It's Purdue, it's Purdue. I don't see Purdue there, but it looks like it's I don't see any Purdue. What are they talking about? Purdue chicken? What are they talking about, man? What are they doing to us? All right. But it looks like there's some activity. All right. It looks like there's some activity out there. Um, Up here in Fort Wayne. University of Fort Wayne. So maybe it's an and on school. All right. That's the first sign. What else are we looking for? Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Whole Foods, Starbucks. That's those are my cream, of, cream of pies. Right. If I'm looking for an area. All right. I'm looking for them places like the Trader Joe. Hey, go Fort Wayne. Is it really popping? Well, oh, red flag, Aldi. Okay, but there goes the Trader Joe. So there's a little, there's a little something there. They got Myers, which is more high end. Okay, Kroger's right there. Meat market, whatever. They got a couple of places. Myers. Okay, they got a couple of places. You know, man, African, Caribbean, so a good mix. The Asian place looks like it's a little bit mixed up. They got a museum downtown, right? So you have all these little factors that tell you, okay, there's it's not in the middle of nowhere to have that many supermarkets. They got a Trader Joe. They got all that. I don't see any Whole Foods, but Trader Joe's may be their Whole Foods. It may be where they're at in the economic process of growing. There goes a zoo down there, right? All right, what's the next thing you would do, right? You got the university. You got the, what's happening in the area. You figure out the jobs. And we talked about places to live. Okay. All right. And, th and there goes another. Re I was going to tell you something. This guy, John, is telling you, getting you happy about Miami. I believe the time is a little bit different now because the government is now receiving the, 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 the benefits of a high, high housing market. As Australia and Canada and all the rest of the places have. People have been waiting for a crash in Canada for many of years now. Many of years now. Of course, there will always be a correction. But a crash, no, no bueno, amigo. 
No bueno in those places. Maybe America will. You never know. There's always what they call black swan. Black swan is something you've never seen before. Right? Swan usually has a certain color. Black swan will come out of nowhere. That means somebody over leveraged themselves. There's always a chance of that because there's always somebody fucking up trying to show off. Right? So let's keep talking here. Okay? We got Fort Wayne versus Santa Clara. You know, Santa Clara's in California. You know, we talked about looking at the areas going, oh, everything's collapsing in Miami as an, as an example. Everything's probably collapsing. And Santa Clara is going to do the next show. And uh, all the young people are like, I can't afford this place. This is ridiculous. Where are we going to go? He's talking about big uh, developments that are shutting down. Those are commercial products, right? Because the average salary is 30 I'm giving it that, even though we saw low on Fort Wayne. $30 an hour, they can't afford nothing down there. Even if they got a rental, it's $4,800, $4,000 a month. Do it make sense? No. So what's the end all be all game? Was that Myron up there with a with a girl? Who's a uh, playing golf with his main girl? These guys are silly, man. Let me see his main girl again. <laughs> Anyway, I, I messed up the whole video with that. And <laughs> with that said, with that said, with that said, let's do it to the math of the Fort Wayne deal. Okay? Let's do it to the math of the Fort Wayne deal. All right? Um, your average salary, your take home is $2,400, right? Let's go to Zillow. We was just there, right? Where's the Zillow thing I had up? Didn't I have it up somewhere? Didn't I have the Zillow thing up somewhere? Average payment, let's just do this. Average payment for home, average payment, or payment for home that costs 170000 Now I'm going to show you how with less money you're richer than the guy making 150. Payment for home, okay? This is very easy math, but I broke it down for you slowly. Paying for home at 170 k 170000 Okay? All right. Lord have mercy. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. They're doing, they're doing, you don't gotta go that high. We're gonna do 170, all right? 170 is the average price, right? Three and a half down, right? Look at that payment, guys. Look at that payment. Look at it. Cry me a river. Da, 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 da. Cry me a river. Look at that payment. Okay? 1280. 1280. 1280. Okay? So you are bringing in 2400, 2400, 4800. You put in your car payment in there, I don't know, $600, 1880. Groceries, electricity, another 600 a month. Right? You're like twenty seven, twenty eight hundred. You know, your 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 third, you know, your second paycheck. You you know, you're giving up twenty percent. Then the rest, what is the rest? You got like fifteen, sixteen hundred. You can save every month. Well, the guy that was stuck with the eight hundred and ten thousand dollar house payment, remember, it's not gonna have the HOA on there. Okay, it's missing the HOA. Oh, the interest rate was low too. Yeah, the interest rate was real low, and that's the that's the that's the real big issue. What's the interest rate now? Six point. They said six point oh, because those banks want to make money, so they're not gonna lower it right away. They're gonna make you. They're gonna make you uh, starve a little bit. All right. So six six percent interest rate. All right, and that brings you to a payment of five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Let me see if this changes when I put seven. All right. So six percent. Six percent interest rate. All right, five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars per month on insurance. Five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars per month. Or excuse me, with a house payment. His salary, his salary. What is the average over there? Was it? It was a six. You couldn't make it with the average salary in America. You couldn't make it. All right, you couldn't make it. But let's say his salary was one fifty. What was the one fifty? I think it came to like nine thousand a month, and then he has his seven hundred dollars uh, a car payment, you know, and then the eight hundred or nine hundred dollars more in bills, right? 
It's listed with 1,000 to 1,000. You know, he's at 7,880. And he may be able to save 1,200 a month. Maybe. While you have the bandwidth to, to save between fifteen and $1,600 a month. Maybe more. I think we came to, we added 400. You spent another 400, like 2,000 a month. 2,000 times 12 is 24,000, okay? He'd be maybe at 14,000, 15,000. We know it's not going to be that low. We're supposed to add 500 to this too because there was an HOA fee. So it's really 60, you know, 6,300, 6,400 for that place, okay? All right? And then you got your car payment, 7,000, and, you know, you know, whatever else you got going on, right, on, on top of the 6,400 with the HOA. I'm adding the HOA in there, right? And then you got that job that has to pay you a hundred some thousand. Okay, so you have to work up to get that. So where's the opportunity to match up with the guy making one fifties to move to an area, obviously that may not be as as much as much fizzazz, but I guarantee you, Fort Wayne downtown. I guarantee you're gonna get the same type of work out there, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, let's let's just call it Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, 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 downtown. That's all I gotta look for. All I'm looking for is a Starbucks, a Panera Bread, and a couple of Trader Joe, or whatever. All right, real small. Yep, it's real small, but it looks like it's scenic. All right, it looks like it's scenic. There's tours. Okay, all right. So let's check this out. Let's check this out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Those Miami guys already roll their eyes. <laughs> ah, sorry, guys. Hey. Lot of kids are saying, "Okay, I'd rather struggle." Get the fuck. <laughs> but guys, truthfully, without me laughing, this is what you're going to have to do. Now, you know what makes this a win for for a guy and a girl? If you guys link up and do it together, because then you're not hunting for the hot girl up there and all that. You can see, you know, maybe tough cooking. So you might as well bring it. You come, you go up from Miami, you move up there. Okay, and you save that money. You got that payment. What was the house payment? Seventeen hundred bucks, or was it twelve hundred? Between twelve hundred and seventeen hundred dollars a month for your mortgage on your house, huh? Anyone would love that, guys. So when they say the times is rough, what happens is if we don't if we don't kill the supply and demand, the prices will continue to go up. The goal is to then move around. Find other opportunities, spread it out, and yes, guys like me will be hit because there'll be excess supply. That's what's happening in Miami and all these places. Excess supply with no one that can afford it. And then the prices have to no, have no choice but to work their way down. And that's how you can change a market. The problem with Florida is Big John rebuttal to you and you're in your in your this is gonna crash he, he does all crap he crash videos make big money so that's what they continue to focus in on okay just just i'm just being honest with you all right J john something all right well how you will u.s housing market crash like florida interesting all right so and by the way when we say crash let me show you something real quick right we're just on zillow crash means when i was in 2008 9 10 and all that houses stuck uh stuck on the market longer but there was actually no sales we're still seeing sales in florida let's look at that real quick case shiller home sales that'll tell us this is a lagger though uh, uh lagger means it's in the past so they're like i think they get the data three months later and calculate it 
home sales index. All right. That's just price. Before I let y'all go. Oh, this is not. It's good enough. This should get us somewhere. All right. Previous history. Here goes a commercial. Okay. So it is a big decrease. Okay. You can see that there. Okay. If we can we go 10 years, dude? Can we can we can we stretch this thing back? Let's see. No, I won't let me. Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. So it goes in spurts. So, you know, back back in 2010, back in 2010, right? It was all up here. So obviously something has changed, right? This may be your best opportunity when it gets to the 80s and 90s. There's something wrong, right? Something, something just ain't right. You really want it in the hundreds, right? All right? And I'm sure it's units, 70,000, 80,000 units, something like that. That's probably what it comes down to, okay? If I go to the right, right, we were up all the way high, the highest point in history of, of sales. They weren't buying out their mother because they're following the leader. Then it really jumped up in 21. So it looks like the average was 80, 90, right? And look at the downturn in 20, right? Everyone no one was buying because of the COVID. And then they said pent up demand. Boy, did they, they pent it up all right. Now it's right back down to the same levels for about two years as it was in the crash of the COVID uh, crisis where you had to stay at home. So something is definitely cooking here. Definitely. All right. And that's a sign of the times. Those salaries overbuilding, blah, 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 supply and demand. So look, I'm, I went back 2002. It's never really been that low. There is a crisis that's happening right now. No doubt about it. The sales crisis is here. Maybe the worst time for sales in American history that we're going to see. That's why it's a hold on. Be strong. That's the time. That's why they said kill some cat for many years. So what would you do in this situation? You think you're going to stay in Miami? Everyone's going to be juggling and jogging and diving. And, oh, my God, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to prices in Fort Wayne? Those areas that is 170. Now, that could be cut in half still. Usually it doesn't because it's already low. But that could go down 40%. That house could be 110000 100000 now, median average, if there's a little crash, a, a correction. 90000 for a house. Can you imagine what that would do for your life? And specifically, if you have a significant other, you got your college, your Starbucks, your Trader Joe's, you got all the amenities you would have in Miami, Tampa, wherever you're talking about. It's the same amenities. The weather is different. That's the big thing. Same thing. There's bars downtown and all that. There's always that. All right? Just less people. But how would your pockets feel if you could retire yourself and pay off that house? We talk media. I'm signing off here. Interesting time options john says there's a crash well last thing before i let y'all go there's a thing called usm2 that's the money supply that's the money that's just sitting in the market cash money right money supply is a measure of the money supply that includes cash checking and deposits Look how much money's on the sidelines. Now, you're going to say, well, they're there to take your money. But the problem is there's so much money there, I'm not sure they can wait to take the money. I think they're going to see a correction and pounce because they're going to say, well, this other guy has money too, so if I don't buy this thing up at the 10% discount, I'm going to be stuck. I think that's where we're at, and this is why. $21 trillion on the sidelines. Highest it's been in 16 months. Okay, that's where we at. There's money there. There's money out here. That's the chart for Sala money, cash. Yes, there's a lot of people with money. $21 trillion is just sitting, waiting on the sideline. So they can hold off longer for a lot of these opportunities and scoop them up. And they are. So what's your next gonna move going to be? You're going to wait until Fort Wayne becomes Miami? Before Fort Wayne becomes a small, a nice little small town like Port St. Lucie in Florida that's growing? Or you gonna get there right now before everybody figures it out and say, oh, that's cheap. I'd, I'd rather do that. We talk economics. We talk media. I hope you got there. I hope you got what I'm giving. 
a little economic lesson on what to do in situations like this. Time to bust a move. 60,000 does great things in the right place. I'm out of here. Peace.